the Lao PDR gained full liberation and proclaimed the country on December 2, 1975, and the diplomatic tasks of foreign affairs have made a great contribution to developing the nation since. Details in the following special report. And they agreed to come back into the government as equal... Power. October 12, 1945 is the Lao Independence Day and Lao Diplomatic Day. In 1975, Laos established diplomatic ties with 48 countries and by 1985 the country had diplomatic relations with 62 countries. Laos now has diplomatic ties with 135 countries worldwide. The foreign affairs sector has played a more significant role after the country's liberation. In the coming year, the Lao PDR will make the 40th anniversary of the establishment of the nation with foreign affairs playing an important function in raising the role of the Lao PDR higher in regional and international arenas. In recognizing the important role of foreign affairs, as well as Laos in making wider and deeper international connections, it is necessary to study and define the birth of Lao Diplomatic Day as an important moment in Lao history for a new generation to acknowledge the past achievements and keep on conserving the good traditions of Lao diplomats. Many Lao leaders are good role models in foreign affairs for young people. The story was written in 2004 by Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs Pung Savat Bupa. Now he is the minister to the President's office that. In Lao history, President Supanovong was a great diplomat and a good model for young Lao diplomats to learn from. I read an article titled President Supanovong with the Foreign Affairs Movement After the Country is Proclaimed. There are many interesting points in the 17-page booklet. It makes for a very interesting read because I learned the background of the nation and the movement of Lao leaders in foreign affairs. So now I know why President Supanovong is such a good role model for Lao diplomats. At present, many young diplomats have walked along the path set by the President and have kept on building relations with countries worldwide. In 1975, Laos established diplomatic ties with 48 countries. There would have only been a small number of diplomats to work in foreign countries to represent Laos for the benefit of the country. Currently, the number of officials working in the area of foreign affairs and diplomatic services has been expanded to work for the nation in propagating the party's foreign policy to the world and bring assistance from foreign countries to help the country. Lao diplomats have worked in many important positions with foreign friends in regional and international arenas. President Supanovong is a good diplomatic role model on the international stage and many foreign friends recognize his abilities and contributions in building peace in the world. President Supanovong was active in the movement for peace, friendship and cooperation in the region and world. General Secretary of the Lao People's Party. He attempted to spread peace in the regional arena by working hard on negotiating issues to build national reconciliation and understanding with nearby countries. He built relationships with many countries around the globe. Because many of the Lao leaders were good models for young diplomats, today Laos has diplomatic ties with 135 countries around the world. Was certainly the keynote of the new government. In 29 years, Laos diplomatic ties have increased from 62 countries in 1985 to 135 countries in 2014. In Laos now than ever before. This means that foreign affairs have been expanded very quickly and the country has economic relationships with over 50 countries. The was also there, 
and seemed to accept philosophically that Patat La rule in Vientiane had become inevitable after developments earlier this year in the rest of South Laos has been trusted to host many regional and international conferences, including the 10th ASEAN Summit in 2004, ASEAN Interparliamentary Organization Summit in 2005, first meeting of states parties to convention on cluster munitions in 2010 and 9th Asia Europe meeting in 2012.